Bye. The Science Museum is a major museum on Exhibition Road in South Kensington, London. It was founded in 1857 and is one of the city's major tourist attractions. This is so gigantic! A rocket? No, it can't be a rocket. No, a part of a rocket. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest engine in the world! The first recognized energy machine, or steam engine, was created by Thomas Savory in 1698, designed to pump water out of mines. Look, I told you that was a rocket. Guys, now I'm gonna show you the space. What's big and goes to space? A, car B, rocket C, balloon. Space is like a giant, endless playground that's above the sky we see. It's where all the stars, the moon, the sun, and planets like Earth live. It's very dark because there's no air, and it goes on forever in all directions. Imagine it as the biggest adventure park ever, but instead of rides, there are planets and stars floating around. Planet Earth is like a giant spaceship traveling around the sun. It zooms through space at about 67,000 miles per hour. And while we can't feel it moving, it's spinning and orbiting the sun, making sure we get days and nights and the different seasons. This is Apollo 11. So I went to the moon with a real person on it. Wow. Apollo 11 was a historic space mission that landed the first humans, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, on the moon on July 20th, 1969. Armstrong's first step on the lunar surface is famous for his words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, marking a monumental moment in human exploration.
talk but isn't alive at the museum. A tree, B statue, C robot. The first steam-powered vehicle, which can be considered the precursor to modern cars, was created by Nicola Joseph Cugno in 1769. It was designed to transport people and was essentially the world's first automobile powered by steam. It's a car from 1960. Oh, this car is so cool, I want to buy it. Okay, give me one penny, you get the car. Okay, the car is yours. Thank you! Bye. Bye. This train is from 1868. By 1868, Steam trains were transforming travel and trade, connecting cities and shrinking distances, marking a vibrant era of industrial and transportation revolution. Can you find a machine that thinks? A. No. B. Yes. Computers. C. Only on TV. The first powered flight by the Wright brothers on December 17, 1903, lasted just 12 seconds but changed the world forever, turning the dream of flying into a breathtaking reality. I see the seat of the driver. In 1918, the world saw its first regular airmail service, symbolizing the growing practicality of aviation beyond mere exploration. By 1938, aviation had taken another leap with the introduction of the Douglas DC-3, a plane that revolutionized air travel by making it faster, safer, and more accessible to the general public. inside the human body A. X-ray B. Telescope C. Flashlight It might be 30 meters! A heart, a bed, blood, 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 a bone. Bone, willy, willy, <laughs> bone, bone, head, head, knees, 
Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Long ago, people were like body detectives trying to figure out how to heal us when we were sick. They used plants, herbs, and even songs. By watching animals and experimenting, they started learning about our amazing bodies, like how our hearts pump and lungs breathe, laying the groundwork for the medicine we have today. What helps you see tiny things at the museum? A. Glasses B. Magnifying glass C. Microscope Being a video maker is super cool, right? Guess what? The very first movie ever made was created way back in 1895 by two brothers named Lumiere. It was called Workers Leaving the Lumiere Factory, and it was just a short clip showing people walking out of a factory. So every time we make or watch a video, we're part of a big, amazing story that started over a century ago with that first movie.